Hi, I'm Matt Stansbury, Director of Content and Publications for the Uptime Institute. And I'm here today with Gary Cook with Greenpeace International's Cool IT Campaign. And we're talking a little bit about uh, carbon in the data center and kind of energy policy and how data center operators can start to influence that and why they should. Um, so Gary, my question is, you just published a report and I understand that kind of putting the data together to figure out um, who in the industry needed to work to improve their um, data center's carbon footprint. Uh, can you talk to me a little bit about that process and why it might have been difficult to put that together? Certainly, yeah. Um, so this is a report with uh, so how dirty user data we put out uh, in end of April and it was a follow-up to the report we did last year which was uh, called Make IT Green. And so the first report, Make IT Green, looked at how big is the electricity demand of data centers um, and the, sort of I, the cloud. So like how does the amount of energy embodied in you know, your searches and getting all this data to your devices. And that's it's a big demand and it's growing very quickly. I mean, this is using what you know best estimates that are out there is you know if it was a country, the internet, sort of not counting the devices, would be uh, equivalent to sort of the like fifth biggest consumer of electricity, and it's supposed to quadruple. So, necessarily that's necessarily bad because there's a lot of good things that could come from this technology. Um, but it's important how these data centers, where they're made, I mean, where where they're being built, and where their energy comes from. If we quadruple the amount of coal we're using um, in the next ten years, that's going to exacerbate the problem. We need to make sure we're uh, transitioning to off our, our dirty energy supply. And so the report basically looked at our 10 global brands on the cloud computing side and tried to see uh, you know, who's reporting. And that was the question of the, uh, there's not a lot of data out there. Um, companies are very, hold this, you know, aren't very forthcoming on how much energy they're using and what's the quality of, or the type of energy they're using. And so I had to spend a lot of time basically putting the story together for these initial 10 companies. Uh, we have more than that on sort of done background research on, but we want to start with this, start of the conversation um, with these 10 is, is some of whom are actually leaders in other ways on environmental issues and uh, give them an evaluation of how they're doing on transparency, investment, and mitigation. That's great. Um, one of the things that people do report a lot is PUE. A lot of folks talk about PUE, mm -hmm. but that's not necessarily indicative of their overall impact. Yeah, I think that's increasingly um, recognized in the sector. You have PUE is a, a good sort of rule of thumb. It's helped drive the conversation in the sector on sort of amount of energy being consumed on the operational side, but um, doesn't really indicate environmental performance or amount of resource being used. And so really, I think having much clearer reporting on amount of energy consumed and the mix of that energy uh, is where we need to go, and there's there's probably different ways to get there. The CUE that's you know just, initial, just recently been uh, released and put out there is another step in that direction. Uh, we'll start put a more of an environmental um, metric on the table. I think we need to look beyond that as well, and think increase people. If everyone is um, held to the same expectation, we can go sort of get beyond the fight club mentality that people refer to the data center. Uh, industry and like here's our numbers, here's how we're doing, and we start to have a real competition to the race to the top, and not trying to. Uh, and we're you know, this is a very competitive sector. So, you know, that that sort of energy is already there, and if we make the data available, um, hopefully that will drive performance in the right direction. So one of the things that uh, we noticed was you know the focus is on the web scale companies, the cloud computing providers, uh, but there are a lot of other large. Sure. Data center users, consumers. Why the focus on the the kind of the high tech sector? Um, really, because these are um, companies who, in many ways, already understand the value proposition in terms of environmental performance is better for their you know, long term bottom line. Uh, many of these companies have some of them are very new and are growing very quickly. But uh, you look at some of these companies who have already made substantial investments in clean energy or have done a lot on the energy efficiency side are very brand conscious, see themselves as being sort of you know, the innovators, and uh, that's you know, generally how we, the IT sector sees itself generally, versus say the financial sector, which is, um, you know, has certainly has a, a big fleet of data centers, um, is much more conservative, not sort of innovating that much, is, you know, try to, more, try to be more stable in their approach, which is appropriate for, I think, 
uh, their, their core competency, but in terms of them being a leader in data center design and development, um, I think there will be some limitations in that. And with the, the brands we rated, which include Apple and Microsoft and Google and Yahoo, these companies um, have already been recognized as being leaders in, in many ways and in other environmental issues and want to drive a race to the top as fast as we can because we need to have real investment shifts and real leadership and ultimately need these companies to use their influence with both their their consumers and policymakers to change the policy. There's a lot these companies can do right now in terms of these investments um, when you're both spending half a million, half a billion or a billion dollars at a time to make sure this is much cleaner. But ultimately they have to get off the sidelines um, and stop cheerleading about the green green economy or the clean, green IT and get in there and, and change the rules of the road to where we all, not only them, but everyone benefits from a, a cleaner supply of energy. Right, I, I think that's a really interesting point that I think you're driving there with, with your site selection, mm -hmm. with your uh, focus on driving your utility providers and, and driving from a politically, I think uh, I think that's a kind of a trifecta. I think that'd be great to see. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, a lot of innovation going inside the data centers right now in terms of the box. There's not a lot of innovation going on outside the box. Um, a lot of buying a lot of cheap electricity off the rack is, is as big as quantity as you can. And um, the companies who are, are doing better are actually being much more prescriptive or discerning about where the electricity is coming from or where and how that generation mix is going to change over the, the lifetime of this investment because you're talking 10, 15 year inve investment, um, asking questions, being much more demanding and some are even putting real money out there to put more clean energy on the grid exactly where they're creating demand which is exactly the sort of leadership we need and it should ex we actually expect from the IT sector. Great. Well thank you Gary, appreciate it. Yeah, it's a pleasure.